Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be working on the John Wick Bubba Yaga tutorial. And in this one, I painted this with Windsor and Newton oil paints. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, we're getting started on this John Wick oil painting quick tutorial. Now on this one, I'm using a lot of magenta, ultramarine, ruby red, and cremnitz white. Towards the end, for the brightest highlights, I'm going to use a titanium white. And I am creating this using my filberts and a few of the Tischler daggers. Now the Tischler daggers that I use are made of bristle fibers. Now those are a little bit more rigid than synthetic because it helps you to retain your brush strokes and your texture. In your painting. So here I am on John Wick adding our foundation of colors. Basically we at this stage we are just blocking in the major colors. Now please note when you are working on a painting the most important thing are your values. Now your values are the differences between your lights and darks. Those are more important than getting the color accuracy of your paints. Um, compared to your reference. <clears throat> I always say this, when you are drawing a, a portrait and you're using your reference, the most important thing is always your values. Even if your colors aren't exactly like your reference, that's, that's perfectly okay. But as long as you get your values right, then the painting is going to come out phenomenal. So here I am adding a few of the uh, mid-tones on the right side of his face. And now I'm getting back to his beard. And you see, what, what, as I'm work, working on the hair on the beard, I'm blocking in the major areas. Now I'll go back and add small highlights, but for at this stage, we're still blocking in. Towards the end is when we start doing, we start tightening up the painting. That's usually the technique that I always use when I'm oil painting. I'll start blocking in the major areas. And then once I'm satisfied with the colors and the values of the blocking stage, then I start going into the detail stage. And here I am blocking in John Wick's hair and using my magenta with the mix of uh, ultramarine and some black. And that's really gonna add a little bit of value to the black that I'm using. So there I go with my Tischler dagger and these work absolutely phenomenal for doing hair because of the little strands. The strands are, like I said, they're bristles. So that's perfect for drawing, for getting the texture of the hair to look uh, realistic. And that is a synthetic filbert that I'm using right there. Now the synthetics, they're a lot softer as opposed to using bristles. So if you want to achieve some areas in your painting with uh, some softer textures, then I would suggest using a synthetic synthetic brushes, but I use a mixture of both. So here I am working, tightening up the details, adding a little bit of a Kremnitz white to his hair, and that's going to mix with the color that's already in his hair, so it'll work by tinting that white. And there I am using my rigger. Now the riggers are also <clears throat> excellent for doing hair because they're they're about one inch long and they're very soft, so it it's, works really well with doing, doing hair. I like using the ivory rigger, rigger or a script liner. Script liners work fantastic. So I finished most, most of his portrait, and now I'm getting down to his suit. Now on the suit, I really want to make it look like and feel like the texture and the fabric is right there on the paper. Like you can almost touch it and feel it. So I'm at the blocking stage. Once again, using my mixture of ultramarine and a little bit of Kremnitz white, I'm also adding some violets to this color. And I'm using the mall stick right there to rest my hand. You'll definitely need, well, not everybody uses a mall stick, but I definitely use a mall stick because it helps me achieve my detail a lot easier to rest my hand on. And over here, we're just adding little details on a suit. And we're fixing up the values right now adding darker values to a suit to make sure it pops getting down to the background and just laying this in 
we're using a flat bristle brush and I get all my brushes from Rosemary and Company. They have the best brushes on the planet. You can also get them from Studio Pintara, which is their sister store in the United States. And right there, I'm using some of that Kremnitz White with a touch of yellow just to tint it just a little bit. And we're getting close to finishing this and just blocking in the rest of the background. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see the full length tutorial, that is on my Patreon channel at Art of Garduno. The link is in the description below. That video is about one and a half hours long where I go into great detail and explain everything that I did. Color mixing, values, uh, the brushes that I use, and texturing. And we're just going to varnish this and this will be just about finished. I am using a Windsor New New Newton retouching varnish that really brings out the colors in this finished painting. Getting all the strands and there we are. All finished. Thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you later. All right, and that's it for the John Wick tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting below. Now, if you would like to see the full length tutorial where I go in depth on detail, color mixing, and how I achieve my proportions, then that is on my Patreon channel. And those videos are one and a half hours to three hours long. And the link to that is below. So come join me and my students and let's learn to advance our skill. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video.